The last redesign of the Mazda 6 in 2014 has gotten considerable praise from many automotive critics and enthusiasts. However, even with its top ratings, it still hasn't managed to be in the top three of the best-selling midsize sedans. So for 2016, Mazda has decided to refresh the vehicle to make it even more competitive this year. So let's go ahead and check out this 2016 Mazda 6 Touring. Now styling on the Mazda 6 was never really a problem. It was always certainly one of the best looking vehicles in the class, but Mazda has managed to make it even better looking this year with sharper looking headlights that have a smoked out look to them. And then you also do have these new LED rings that go around the projectors, which is pretty nice. You will also find LED headlights too. And I just love the styling of the 6. It's a very handsome looking vehicle and it's certainly not overdone. Now here goes the key fob for the 6. Fairly long key fob in length. But it's fairly stylish overall. You have your lock, unlock to release your trunk and then your panic button too. Now our Mazda 6 we have here is the Touring trim and it comes with a host of features including these 19 inch alloy wheels and then the technology package also adds many more features too and it's the mid trim level of the group too. Now it is the snowflake white pearl exterior color with smart key access on the driver's door and the front passenger door. It also comes with these gray leatherette sport seats. You have your power driver's seat with power recline. Now stepping on inside of the 6 here, as you can see, it's a very good looking cabin here. And they have refreshed the cabin for the 2016 model year to make it even more high quality and more stylish. And they even added this new infotainment system with a new controller, which I will get to a little later in the video. Now you do have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder with the Sky Active technology. Full leather wrap steering wheel. The steering wheel rim is actually pretty thin. It's not too thick. Now coming to your transmission, you have a six speed automatic with manual shiftability. No, no paddle shifters here, however, but you do have a sport mode. Putting the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera with guidance lines. No trajectory here either. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. Automatic driver's side window. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. You also do have blind spot detection. You also do have these new LED headlights, which replaces the bi-xenon headlights that you will find in the 2015 model year, with LED daytime running lights too. Very bold and aggressive design. Now under the hood here you will find a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder producing 184 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 185 pound feet of torque at 3250 RPM with 0 to 60 times of 7.6 seconds which is quick for a mid-size sedan with a four cylinder engine. Now this is certainly one of the most fuel efficient powertrains in the class, earning EPA estimates of 26 in the city and 38 on the highway with the automatic transmission. And however, even though that this is a pretty quick and very fuel efficient four cylinder, 
there is no engine upgrade available on the 6. Now competitors of the 6, you have the vehicles in the mid-size sedan class. This includes the likes of the Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, Subaru Legacy, as well as the Ford Fusion, Volkswagen Passat, Nissan Altima, Chevrolet Malibu, Chrysler 200. There's many competitors in this class. Pricing for the base sport model costs around $21,495. Then the touring, like how we have here, starts at $23,945. And then the grand touring top of the line starts at $30,195. Coming to the rear you have LED tail lights with dual exhaust tips, rear reflectors, rear window defroster, and a shark fin antenna on the top. Nice sleek styling. Now EPA estimates, like I said, are 26 city, 38 highway. Total vehicle price for this particular one is $29,070. Of course, all of your basic power amenities, power windows, door locks, and your power mirrors. Nice soft touch armrest too. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Very nice. Now as far as build quality and materials go, build quality and materials was never really a big problem for the Mazda 6. In fact, it was certainly one of the best in class in terms of that, but it's even better with for the 2016 model year. Now you still do have nice soft touch upper door panels and then mid door panels too, and then the armrest is really nice and squishy too. And then you also do have this molded stitching that goes throughout the whole entire dashboard now. And then also right here, you also do have this molded stitching too. Very high quality. This is also really nice and padded right here. Build quality and materials are excellent. And there's not that many panel gaps inside of here, like in some other vehicles in this class. Build quality is just really good in this car. Overall, build quality and materials is certainly top notch. Now coming to the steering wheel design, it is fairly stylish and sporty looking. You do have your cruise control buttons right here, steering wheel mounted audio controls and your seat and track button, voice recognition and your Bluetooth phone controls. This button right here also controls that little screen right there, which basically shows you your exterior temperature readout, your average speed, your current MPG, your average MPG, and then your fuel gauge down there, your distance till empty. It's pretty nice. Then you also do have a manually tilting and telescoping steering wheel, which it does have a really nice range of adjustment. And then you also do have your traction control off button and your blind spot detection. Coming up there, you also do have your auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link, sunglass container, and then your sunroof. Do sunroof controls. Interior illumination lighting. Headliner is also pretty high quality too. Coming down there you also do have a little storage cubby with a 12 volt power outlet. And then right here you will find your controls for the new Mazda interface which I will get to in just a second. And then you have your cup holders. And then right here you also do have your sport mode. And then it displays right up on there. And basically the sport mode what it does is that it changes the changes the throttle response and 
makes the steering a little bit heavier feeling. And then down there in the center console you have two USB ports, an SD card slot, a 12 volt power outlet and your auxiliary input. Decent amount of storage. Nice and soft touch of course. Coming to your AC controls is pretty easy to figure out overall. You have dual zone automatic climate control, your fan speeds right here, then your temperatures for the dials, and then you have your different zones too. Front window defroster and your rear window defroster and your recycling. Pretty easy to figure out here. You don't need a degree to figure it out. And then you have your heated seats three staged for the driver and the passenger. Now as far as the seats go in the 6, these are probably the sportiest bucket seats I've ever sat in in a mid-size sedan. And they, they are also quite comfortable too. I would certainly take this vehicle on a longer trip with these seats. The side bolstering on the seats are exquisite as well as the thigh support too. Just really nice thigh support. Great support for these seats. They're very comfortable. And I would certainly take this vehicle around a twisty canyon road and these seats would certainly hold me in place. A lot of mid-size sedans do not do it. Now as far as visibility goes in the 6, it's okay, but it's not the best in the class. There's a decent amount of side glass area. Outward visibility is okay. However, when you get to rearward visibility, it is a little bit limited due to a slightly sloping roofline, but it's certainly not the worst in the class. But however, if you're looking for the best visibility, certainly go with the Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, or the Volkswagen Passat. Now coming to the gauges, I really do like the gauges, however the font is just a little small for my taste, but however overall they're pretty crisp and clear and easy to read. You have your speedometer in the center right there, and then your RPM gauge, and then what gear you're in down there, and then you have your trip odometer down there too. Overall pretty basic, no TFT instrument cluster here. Now coming to the new infotainment system, basically it's like a knockoff MMI interface by Audi and I actually do like it and I think it works pretty well it's much better than the infotainment system that it replaces the old very small touchscreen that had really dated rendering and graphics but it's all controlled by this dial right here and then these set of buttons right here it's very easy to use and then you have your volume knob right here and then basically this dial is going to be your best friend and it selects between all of the menus too. And when you click on this home button right here, it'll come up to this main screen. I love the new graphics and the rendering here. It looks very crisp and clear and very easy to read too. Coming to applications right here, basically you can view your HD radio traffic map and then you have your fuel economy monitor. And it shows you a little bar graph. And then your average MPG too. Pretty nice there. You also do have your digital clock up in the upper right hand corner. Which it stays there the whole entire time. You're on this system. And then you have your maintenance schedules, oil changes, tire rotations. Warning guidance. If there's any warnings found. Coming back to the home screen coming to entertainment basically this is for all of your audio you do have HD radio on this bad boy as well as AM FM and satellite radio XM satellite radio and then you have AHA internet radio Pandora stitcher which are all accessed through your smartphone data connection and then Bluetooth streaming audio USB port two of them and then you have your auxiliary input basically all the normal stuff here then you have your auto memory, which is pretty cool. Then if you have any favorites, and then your HD radio menu, scan, tune, tag, and then your seek and track buttons right there too. Coming back to the home screen, coming to communication, this is for your Bluetooth, where you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, have an integrated dial pad, and then have all your contacts stored on there. And if you want to go back on something, they also do have a back button, like how they have on the Audi MMI interface. This is pretty much all knockoff Audi here. Then you have your navigation, however, it's not activated right now. 
And then settings for this infotainment system and other vehicle settings. You could change the brightness, the contrast, restore it to the factory settings. Then you have your safety technologies like your blind spot monitoring volume and then your smart city brake support if you want that on or off. Coming to sound, you have your bass, treble, your fader, and then your balance. Audio pilot. You also do have an 11 speaker Bose surround sound system in this vehicle. And the audio quality is very crisp and clear. One of the best audio sound systems in the business. Your daylight savings time. All of your clock settings. Your vehicle settings like your rain sensing windshield wiper, turn signals, lighting, door locks. Your Bluetooth devices. Systems. Like your language. Temperature. Distance if you want it in miles or kilometers. Pretty nice there. Overall it's fairly easy to use. I really do love the new infotainment system here in the new screen. Now as far as room for the front occupants go, the room is actually pretty nice. I don't feel too cramped inside of here even though this isn't one of the roomiest mid-sized sedans in the class. It's still fairly roomy feeling overall. You don't feel cramped at all. Now as far as driving the 6 goes, handling is certainly its main attribute here and it hustles around corners very responsively and very quickly too and it offers a whole lot of feedback to the driver and that's not really your typical mid-sized family sedan and it's certainly in for a lot of driver engagement here. It's one of the best handling vehicles in the class. Now as far as the ride quality goes, the ride may be a little too firm for some. It's not the most comfortable riding car. It doesn't soak up a whole bunch of potholes and row bumps like how the Toyota Camry or the Honda Accord does. But it's not harsh riding. It's just a little on the firm side. Now power from the 2.5 liter inline 4 cylinder is very quick, very smooth, and very responsive. And the 6 speed automatic transmission does shift pretty seamlessly too. Overall it's certainly one of the best handling vehicles and has one of the best power trains in the business, especially for a 4 cylinder. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the 6. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Still nice and soft touch on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and the armrest as well. Now sitting back here, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty roomy feeling. I did expect it to be a little more cramped feeling back here, but I'm actually very surprised. There's actually a decent amount of leg room. And headroom isn't too shabby either with the slightly sloping roof line. You have dual map pockets back here, rear air vents. And of course, cup holders with a center armrest. The seats themselves are also pretty comfortable overall and I would certainly take a long road trip back here. Thigh support can be a little bit better however, but overall it's not too shabby. All right. Trunk space isn't too bad either. To fold down the rear seats, just pull on these levers right here. You have your Mazda 6 floor mats. Full manual passenger seat. Glove box compartment, nice and damped. Alrighty. So with its very athletic handling, its very aggressive styling, and its very impressive four-cylinder powertrain, the 2016 Mazda 6 is an excellent choice for a 2016 mid-size sedan. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.